Hello everyone. Good morning. This is Aaron. Welcome to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a video on the file operations functionality in EPM data pipeline. So we're going to take a look at four different operations in this video. Unzip file, copy file, move file, and delete files. All right, let's get into it. So file operations was introduced a few months ago in EPM data pipeline. So these are out of the box functionality available in EPM now. So you don't have to write EPM automate command or Groovy script, uh, or Groovy business rules, or Groovy REST APIs to move files in EPM instance. So I'm going to cover unzip file, copy file, move file, and delete files today. So we're going to create a sample uh, data pipeline, upload the file, and see how it works. All right. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to make sure I explain a few things. So unzip file is pretty um, self-explanatory. You know, it unzips a file. Uh, copy file and move file. So copy file, it copies the source file to a new file, right? So it keeps the copy of the source file as well. So the end of that operation, you have two files. One is the source file, and one is the new file. Move file is different. So it takes the source file and moves that file into the target directory. So at the end of the operation, you have one file, all right? So that's the difference. And delete file deletes the file, all right? Um, so we're gonna create three different variables. Um, zip file name, CSV file name, and new file name. So this is uh, to pass the file names and make it more uh, dynamic rather than hard coding the file names in the pipeline. So you get to also learn how to create variables and how to use the variable in the file operations pipeline. All right, let's do this. So I'm logged into the EPM instance. Uh, to get to data pipeline, click on application, data exchange, I'm going to create a new pipeline. All right, give it a pipeline name. So let's give a pipeline name, file operations. So pipeline code is important because that's what we will be using if we were to invoke this pipeline using REST APIs. All right, click on save and continue. So you have these variables that are defined. Uh, I don't need some of the variables, so I'm going to go ahead and delete start period, end period, import mode, export mode. I'm going to keep these three. So I'll go ahead and add three new variables. I'm going to call it um, zip file name. And display name would be zip file name. Uh, display sequence is one. Is it required? Yes. Make it text. Go ahead and create one more CSV underscore file underscore name. And this would be CSV file name. Display sequence is two. Text. This would be the new file name. New file name. Display sequence is three. Required. Text. All right. So I've defined my three variables, one for the zip file name, one for the CSV file name, one for the new file name. Click on save. So stage one is unzip. So I'm going to give uh, unzip. Now, one of the things I like to do is just click on this expand collapse operation. So, you know, everything gets expanded. Um, then I'm going to create a new job here, which the file operations would be the job type. Give it a name, unzip file file operation would be unzip okay and source directory epm inbox um so that's where i'm going to upload the file the source file name is the no this is where we use the uh, variable that we defined zip file name and target directory for unzip you also need to give the target directory so i'm just going to give epm inbox you don't have to give it a target file name it takes the zip file and unzips whatever is the content into the target directory. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create another stage. Here I'm gonna see, um, I'm gonna call this copy, right? So copy file. And let's expand this one, uh, create a new job. 
the job type would be file operations and this would be copy file file operation would be copy source directories uh, sorry source directories epm inbox and this is where we use the variable csv underscore file underscore name and target directory would be the same this would be new underscore file name. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop here. Then I'm going to show you what happens once we complete this operation. Then we go, go ahead and create the next two stages. All right. So first thing we want to do is, so you'll see that it saves saved here. So auto saves, there's no save button. So uh, one thing to keep in mind. All right. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to overview and click on actions go to inbox outbox explorer uh, let's go ahead and upload a file so i have a sample file actualsdata.zip i'm gonna use that upload all right just uh let's see so this is the file that i just uploaded so let's close this i'm gonna go back to data exchange and you can uh, select the data pipeline that we just created and you'd see the icon difference in the icon. So this is what is a pipeline is, and this is what a normal integration would be. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this and ask for your um, file names. So th these are the variables that we defined, and we're going to pass the um, file names to these variables. So the one that we uploaded just now is this file. And inside that zip file, we have an actuals.csv file. And we also need to give the new file name. So I'm just going to give it actuals.csv and let's call it 01 actuals.csv. So it's easy to identify. Okay, click on run. Now, if everything goes successfully, uh, we would see that the pipeline would run without any errors. Now you'll see the uh, status icon changed. It, this means it is uh, processing. I can click on refresh and you see that it gives you a success. Um, uh, icon now if that means um, it unzipped the zip file so if I go to inbox outbox it unzipped the zip file and you'll see these three files right so this was the file we uploaded it unzipped and created this file actuals.csv then we had the copy operation to copy this one and um, copy this file to this file 01 actuals.csv so you can see that it's pretty easy to create such a process flow. Now, let's go ahead and add two more stages, move file and delete file. All right, so you can open the pipeline, go ahead and add another stage. This would be uh, move, move file, and expand, create a new stage. This would be file operations again. And I would call this as move file to inbox uh, move source directories inbox. So inbox is the data exchange inbox folder. I mean EPM inbox is the um, EPM inbox outbox folder. Now source file name is um, new file name. Target directory is in. Uh, sorry, yeah, target directory is inbox. So a source file is an EPM inbox. Now target directory is inbox, which is the data exchange inbox folder. Now I could give a different file name, not needed, because we're just going to take the new that file and then move it to the inbox directory. So let's go ahead and create another stage called delete. So I want to delete the zip file and the .csv file, uh, not the uh, new file. And then we copy it over, but the original CSV file. All right, so I'll just create one more file operation. And this would be delete zip file. So here we, we have to create uh, two different jobs delete zip file. File operation would be delete and these, sorry. This would be EPM inbox and source file name is a zip underscore file underscore name. So we're going to delete the zip file. Then we'll create another job 
here we go. Let's see. Delete CSV file. Delete. This would be EPM inbox again. And source file name is CSV underscore file underscore name. Target directory and target file name empty. All right. So we can upload the zip file, delete, uh, copy the actuals.csv file to 01 actuals.csv. Then we're going to take the 01 actuals.csv and move it to the data exchange inbox folder. Once that is completed, we're going to delete the zip file and delete the actuals.csv file. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back into my inbox outbox folder. I'm going to delete these files and I'll just keep the zip file. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so I'll just open the pipeline, click run and ask me for, um, just going to call this something else, December 23.csv. All right. So that is good. I'll click on run. So you'll see that the status changed here. Uh, it's showing executing. Um, fresh, error, all the stages and all the jobs have been completed. So now if I go back into data exchange inbox folder, so actions, file browser, inbox, I should see A folder called actuals December 23.csv. Oh, here, this is the one actual December 23.csv. Okay, so uh, yeah, I gave it a foolish name, but anyways, you see that the file has been copied over. Uh, so I'll close this. Now, if I go back into inbox, outbox folder, and change the modifier so you'll see that the zip file is not there and the actual so csv file is not there so both those files have been deleted all right so i just wanted to make a quick video on the file operations um, data pipeline feature it's pretty easy to uh, you know do these kind of file operations and in the next video i'll show you how to do a cross-board file operation so you can actually move files between the instances and uh, as a follow-up to that, I'll also create a video on how to use Groovy business rule to invoke the data pipeline. Um, and uh, so that way it's useful for you to invoke any data pipeline from Groovy. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful. Hit me up with questions if you have. Connect with me on LinkedIn uh, and also follow me on Twitter. I wish you all a wonderful holidays ahead and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Peace.